It's my favorite time of the month. Time to give a special shout out to the marvelous people at the Fabled Survivor Tier. You can join the Fabled Survivor Tier on YouTube or Patreon. Links are in the description. It always amazes me how much you guys do for us month in and month out. We really, really appreciate it. Sylvie, Autumn, and I love you all very much. You people rock. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kj 4 re and welcome back to Above Snake. So I've got a few things I'd like to do today. I have written them down so I don't forget them because they are super important. The number one thing I'm going to do is look at the axe I got last episode. It is not like all the other axes that I have. This is the axe I was using before. Uh, gear level 1, 11 melee damage. This one's still gear level 1, but it's got 13 melee damage with critical damage of plus 10%. So the axe I got from the dude in the forest, in case you didn't watch last episode, you still have to go watch it. Uh, there's a little lumberjack cabin over here. And he gave me a dope axe, which is just awesome. Um, today, I am going to be moving my home. Uh, I don't like this area. I'm going to be moving up here. I've got little three spots going on here. I've got a little stairway going up here. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to end up being a three by four. And hopefully that's big enough to hold all my stuff because... Uh, some people have pointed out that, you know, the workbench actually has a shelter and perks upgrades. Now, I've looked at this before, but I thought you get all three, but it's not. You have to choose one. So I do have to choose one of these. I'm not going to do it right now. And the reason I'm not going to do it right now is because I'm going to be moving up here anyway. So what I would like to do right now is I need uh, nine more foundations. So let's go ahead and make nine more foundations, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the base into a four by three. I only made seven foundations because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get foundations from destroying my other base. Uh, so I'm gonna hold off on more foundations for now, and I'm going to be getting rid of these huckleberry uh, bushes. You know, against my better judgment, but you know, it should be okay. Uh, now, do I want that right in the middle or do I want it on the side? I kind of think I like it on the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. I'd also like to mine some ore today. I believe it's it'll probably be tin, but I don't know for sure. So we're going to get rid of this rock. There we go. And we're going to put this right here. Yeah, that works for me. All right. And then here, 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 here. And that'll be good for now. Let's go ahead and put up some walls. Um, definitely want to put up some walls. I don't know what's going to happen when I break down my, my base here. So I'd like to put up some walls and put up a bed before I like break down anything here. All right. So let's go ahead and take, I don't know if you need a roof, you know, in order to have a bed down and be able to use it. I have no clue. So uh, we will also need a door and probably a few windows. And let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get a bed down there. Like I said, I don't know. Um, I don't think you, I don't think you need a, I don't think you need a roof for the bed to work, but I don't know for sure. All right, I'm going to go for it. By the way, when you take apart a piece of a, you know, structure, like a wall or whatever, you don't get the item back, which you do get back is the resources. And so far, I've gotten all the resources back for the for the walls, at least. I don't know about the other stuff, though. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and we got to make some more foundations. I believe I need six more foundations. So I can make as many foundations as I need because it's not like I'm going to be picking up foundations for my other base. So one, two... Three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to need a few more walls. Not really sure how many more walls. I'll just make two for now. And a couple more roof pieces. And we just need to pick the foundations. Um, yeah, I made, I made exactly the amount of foundations I need. Good. I was like, I was like did I make too many foundations? That's annoying. Uh, we got a bush in the way in the back. That's okay take care of that right now you know i could use the uh what do you get from these i forget yeah i could use the plant fibers sounds good and then six and put this down all right and i need more windows that's fine i like the windows that i have right where they are uh, actually i might want to move these in yeah i think i'm going to want to move them in let me go ahead and put down the ones i have the walls at least so these windows will go here and here. I'll move those in. So we'll put this here, that there. Do I have anything else to place down? I do. I have some. Well, let's put them. The, did I just eat the bed? <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you do when you want to eat stuff. I'm not really sure I want to put this bed. I kind of want it out of the way. So I think right here will be pretty good. But we want to rotate it like so. That's a good spot. Well, that's going to change anyway. 
Uh, right there, it'll kind of be in the way. So I think I'm just going to put it right here. That looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and put the roof pieces on. All right, so six and rotate. 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 Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put those down because I'm going to be breaking the, the things underneath them. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Well, let's just find out what happens when you break something when something else is on it. I mean, this is important stuff here. All right. And the roof piece is still there. Cool. That is awesome. All right. So what I want to do with the roof pieces is I'm going to put flat pieces on as well, just like this. Number six. And these will go right across to make myself a nice looking flat roof. And that's the idea of the whole base. Let me let me go ahead and finish it up. Really love the way this building has come out. I've got all my workbenches inside, plenty of more room. And this is what I got. I even got a way to make like a little overhang for the porch. Now there's no poles in this game, but there are these arches and I can use the arches to kind of make kind of make poles, right? So there, there, uh, yeah, there. And then we just need more roof pieces. We got this one right here, six. And then what you do is you just go like that. And there we go. Got a nice little overhang with some poles. I don't think that's exactly what the game intended, but it's going to work out pretty well. Okay, so we just need two more of those poles. Now, the only thing that can make this better is fencing. You know, like some fencing, but I don't see fencing yet. Uh, which kind of blows, but that's all right. Not a big deal. Well, let's make two more of these. Right, I've got to make one more. My shelter is level two, which is cool. And we just need a little bit more wood. And then I will place down the rest of that fencing. I'm going to show you one thing that bothers me about the building. And it's going to force me to make uh, a ba at least a back deck. And possibly a wraparound deck. I, I, I'm known to make wraparound decks. I didn't plan on making a wraparound deck for this. But I'll probably just put a back deck and put a door on the back. But I'm going to show you what is bothering me about it. So if you look right here, down here, really closely, these back parts don't really line up with the with the foundations properly. At least they're not. There's like a little gap there. It bothers me. Putting a back deck will fix that, and I will do it eventually. All right, there and there, and that, my friends, is a beautiful, beautiful base. So let's come into the workbench and see how the perk thing works. So we do have level two, so I guess we get one for each level. So we can either go with health increased, melee damage increased, or maximum fatigue and maximum stamina increased. So I'm going to go with either damage or hit points. Uh, let's go with damage. And then right here, uh, improve fire making equipment. Fires burn 30% faster. Improve your cooking equipment. Cooked meals provide 20% more replenishment. Or wood used uh, for bonfires is more dry and flame burns hotter. Restored fatigue while near bonfires increased by 50%. I think I'm going to go with the food. And there we go. And now we're just waiting for level three. I don't know exactly what you need to level up your shelter. I think it's just building stuff, honestly. Let's take a look at the cartography table. Do we all knock this stuff? Eh, probably. Why not? I don't see any reason not to. Let's just unlock everything. We're going to need a couple of more pieces of flint. One and two. And now everything is unlocked. And then I would like to place one more thing down. Although I think I'll wait because we are going to go uh, with our quest. And our, by the way, we're right by the water as well, which is cool. We're going to go do our quest. And our quest is telling us to return to Stark. So we'll we'll return to Stark first before we do anything else. We got to come all the way over here to talk to Stark. He's at the Lumberjack cabin, I believe. So let's go on and sprint over there and see what's what. We'll grab some berries along the way. I have pretty much eaten all of my food. Um, you go through a lot of food in this game, man. No joke. But yeah, the the animals are out there to get. There's mushrooms I can get. There's... Oh, oh, is that a zombie? Oh, hold on. Why is there a zombie out during the day? I thought they only come out at night. All right. Well, here we go. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. All right, I couldn't see him because of the, the trees. All right, come on, you little bugger. I got you now. Ow. 
He swings pretty quick. Right, let's wait, wait. I could probably just stand there and tank him with no with no issues. Um, but the thing is, I'd like to try and not take damage if I can. All right, I did not expect to see zombies out, so that is fun. All right, that's just a rabbit. Actually, I have a bow. I probably could, could have shot him. That's too easy though, right? How do you say that? Belay? Can I take this? Yes, I can. Okay, I'll do that later off camera. Oh, that's his little dog. I was going to shoot it. I was like, eh, probably not the best idea. What's that? Pick up. Oh, oh so can I come here and get bowstrings like every day? That's interesting. Hold on, I'm going to search your stuff. Give me one minute. All right, I got a book. Sweet. Hmm. Ta-da! It took some time, but I've created something very special out of that animal skull. But here it is. Uh, but see here? It's private, and I don't want just anyone knowing uh, what it is. I don't know. Maybe later I'll show you if I can trust you. You know, maybe you can earn that trust. I've been putting... Okay, what do you want me to do? Deliver the parcel. Sure. I can do that. Uh, don't look too closely at the label. Are we on the same page? Got it. Okay, wait, what? Let's go. Why did he... I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> it's a bunch of stuff just popped up. All right, so we got a new world piece. So find the trading post, craft leather armor. All right, cool. Before we craft leather armor, though, I am going to mine because I said I was going to mine and I've been meaning to mine and I haven't been mining. Mine, mine, mine. So we're going to go back to base. And we're going to do some mining. Uh, I, d I do like where, I, where I've chosen my base. It's a little bit farther away from this guy, but it's closer to the water. And uh, that's pretty cool for fishing and for mining. Oh, also, check out the fish. You can gut the fish. I was wondering why I couldn't cook the fish. So you can gut the fish. And then you get fish meat, which is awesome. Food is not going to be a problem. Water is not going to be a problem. And those are the two first things you want to deal with in any survival game. I've also got a hell of a place to live, so everything's looking up. We can upgrade our tools if we can get some... Um, oh, too weak. Oh, that's right. I have to upgrade my tools. Okay, so can I upgrade my tools? I don't know. I know I got antlers. I don't know if I got enough antlers. Let's see. Uh, pickaxe. That's what flint. This is with the antlers. Yeah, okay. I just need some beeswax. I totally forgot to make the tannery when I came back. So we're going to grab some plant fibers and we're going to make ourselves a tannery. And I feel like the tannery should definitely be outside. I mean, I, I do want to make everything inside, but it just makes sense, you know, uh, to make things that outside that make sense to make things outside. Uh, and the tannery is definitely one of them. Do I have to be inside to make this? Do I have to be at the workbench? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. Gonna get a tannery. And there we go. Making sure I'm making the tannery and not something else. And then we will put that as number building. Number six. And then we need consumables. I made a bunch of food. Um, yeah, that looked good. What about this? And this. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and put that in the tannery. Or I wonder if I could put it on the porch. Actually, it would make a lot of sense on the porch. I don't think you could... Oh, yeah, you can. All right, good. Put it right there. All righty. And those are enhanced rope. There's leather armor, which is 5-3, where this is 2-3. And we're going to need some leather. Uh, there's the leather. I'm going to need some more hides. So I'm going to have to hunt some more deers. I did go ahead and upgrade my pickaxe. Before we go hunting deers, I am going to mine some ore. So let's see what we got here. 30 critical. Yeah, baby. All right, what is this? It's got to be 10, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I need to uh, upgrade my workbench. So there's some more stuff to mine over here. So let's go ahead and mine that now. Beautiful. And then I guess we'll upgrade the workbench. I don't see any reason not to. All right, cool. Come back here and upgrade this sucker. I'm really happy with the way this house came out. There's not a ton of building options, you know, so... I just like what... I like what I've done with the place. Uh, how do we upgrade again? There we go. Press T. Right. And workbench tier three. Um, make a furnace. Sounds good to me. And... Oh, railings! Railings. All right, let's see. Hold on. I'm putting everything on hold. 
Should I have this inside? Oh, probably not. It takes up too much room. Although I have room for it. Yeah, screw it. If we have room for it, let's let's have it inside. Man, it is really bulky though. I guess it'll be good right there by my bed. It'll keep me warm at night. Why not? Oh, okay. I don't need to be lighting that up right now. All right, so let's come over here and building of six. And let's put these down. Yes. Oh, no. I can't put them down because of these. Damn it. Oh, that really sucks. So I can have the railings or I can have the poles. I can't have both. Honestly, I kind of like the I kind of like the poles better, but not by much. Man, that sucks. All right, well, it is what it is. Ooh, target dummies, anvils, tin ingots. I guess we could start melting up some ingots. Come on. Oops. R glass ingots. All right, and now we have new stuff we can make. Um, although I don't know where it would be. I guess it would be in here. Yep, handcrafted. Enhanced, that stuff's all enhanced. I think we need the, yeah, we need the anvil. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, I'm going to, well, actually it is getting a little bit later in the day. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to go to the trader. Uh, well, we could at least put down the trader right now. Trading post. Oh, it's got to be over. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm, I don't want to do this. It's pretty far. I really want the trader close to me. Here's the thing, though. If I could put down this, then I could put down the trader next to me. Hmm, not really that close to me. I don't see any way I could put down the trader cl really close. I mean, I could. I guess I could do it like that. I just don't like th this because then it'll be messing with the other biomes. I'm going to put the trader a little bit farther away from me than I would normally do. I could put this right here and then put the trader. Actually, I don't even know if I No, I can't. No, I absolutely cannot. I'm just going to put the trader where I can and to hell with it. I just wish I knew like what I needed for the trader before I placed it down, but that's okay. Maybe it shouldn't be right next to me. Maybe that'd be too easy. Let's go to the trading post. See what they got for us. It's not really that far away. No big deal. No big deal. I may need some beeswax on the way out here. Uh, we do need to craft some leather armor, which means I also have to go to the watering hole. D did I get... I don't think I got leather from the... Um, uh, from the rabbits. Well, look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy. All right, hold on. Yeah, suck it. That's what you get. Now, you got any loot? What you got for me? Um, bones and... Oh, now we can make a bone axe. Okay. Uh, can I loot this stuff again? Yeah, poor, I don't... Yeah, that's fine. Is there going to be stuff in here? Oh, I got a rare, rare key. All right, hold on. I don't know. I, yeah, that's where I found the provisions. What about this chest over here? Oh, I don't have a common key. Okay, fair enough. Shouldn't a rare key open up, like, even common stuff? Like... All right, here we are. The trading post. All right, first things first, let's loot it up. Money, 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 money. Uh, oh, good, more antlers. Although I'm gonna get more when I, so I'm gonna have to kill stuff for leather anyway, but. It's kind of funny, nobody cares about me looting everything. I uh, can't do anything in there. All right, trading post. Hmm. What's up, clerk? <clears throat> Ask questions, browse. I don't care about you. I don't care about your stupid questions. All right, so he's got ink, fabric, coffee, recipe for coffee, um, snake oil tonic. All right. Um, scrap parts. Yes, I need scrap parts. Torch in the key. Okay. Um, I only have $7, so yeah, I, I mean, I mean, he'll buy some of my stuff, but uh, let me see, one, 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 six, the antlers are, are um, 
for the beehive. Okay. I really can't sell too much of this stuff right now. Uh, health and stamina. Keep that in case I need health for something. What are these? Oh, okay. I could probably make money off the Huckleberry stuff. What about... Can I sell my old equipment? Um, I don't see any reason not to. I don't think I... I'm going to keep the old equipment for now. But on... Ooh. Wait, what did that cost to make? That might be a really good thing to sell. Okay, folks, I can read my page. All right, so I feel like this is not used for anything. So it's just meant to sell. Uh, somebody might pay a decent price for this. If somebody's going to pay a decent price for this... To, now that I need to craft something, I know that. Uh, whether I build a house of cards can be sold to merchants. Okay. Um, tin cans seems to be trash, but some folks might find my hand over some coin. Okay, so the stack. Uh, rarity collectors will pay a good price for this. Sell the stack. Um, skull of rather large dead animals. What Stark's parcel? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with that. He's gonna get mad. Go candle placers pass its prime. Okay. And so. All right. So we made some decent money there. So let's go ahead and how many parts do we need? Because I need the parts to make chests. Um, I don't know where I make the chest though. Because I got to find the chest to see how much. Uh... All right. So it's only one scrap part. Okay. Good. So we'll buy hmm. one. We'll buy one scrap part from him and see if that chest is worth it. And if it is, we'll buy more. There we go. Very good. Let's get back and see if we can make a dope chest. I think I was supposed to deliver that parcel to the trader guy. We're going to head back out there again. Uh, let me show you what I've done, though. I've put a watering hole a little bit closer to my base. So now I have two watering holes to go to, which is awesome. And I'm also going to... I mean, I guess I could complete this lake right now. Let's complete the lake right now. There we go. So the cool thing about completing the lake is it gives us more... Um, nodes for 10, which is awesome. Now we can upgrade the workbench. Let's go ahead and upgrade the level three workbench. We could do a wells are better. I don't have a well yet. Improve leather working where you get more leather. Improve tin where you get more tin. I'm going to go with the leather working for now. And I don't know. Can I change that? Actually, I don't know. Oh, you can change it. Okay, because you change it at will. So that's cool. So we're going to go leather working for the time being. Should probably be a cooldown on that, you know? Um... I'm going to go ahead and make leather, and I should get two for this. Yep. Wow. That is awesome. Now, why can't I make more leather gear? Is it because I need rope? Oh, wait, you need the enha enhanced rope to make the... Wait, how come it says I don't have the enhanced rope? I did put stuff in my chest. I think I put the enhanced rope in my chest. Uh, yeah, well, I put a robe in there. I didn't think that was the enhanced robe, though. Where's the other robe? The original robe I started with. Hold on. I don't have anything on right now. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead. And equipment. And equipped. You know, I you know what I, you know what happened to the original robe? I used it to make the enhanced robe. That's what I did with it. I was like, where's it? I thought that was the original robe. Anyway, there's the, there's the chest. That's how much stuff I can hold in it. And we're gonna have to make rope in order to make the leather armor. So let's go ahead and do that now. I've made a bunch of rope, and now I'm going to make the leather armor. Okay, and I need leather strips. So we're going to take leather and flint, make leather strips, and then we're going to make some boots. So that's looking pretty good, and that's all the armor I can make. So equip the leather armor. All right, and there. There, equipment. All right, so we're going from... What I think was 2-3 three to 3-5. Three, Equip. And then we're going from nothing to 1-5. Beautiful. And my gear level is 9. Hell yeah, bro. Wait, does it say that somewhere? Equipment, miscellaneous. I don't know anything about the gear. Oh, right here. Uh, protection, melee damage. Yeah. Gear level 9. Awesome. Very cool. So I think the thing we're going to do in the morning is we're going to head on back to the trader and see if we can turn in that parcel. Also, I read some, I went to the horse by the trader and I read about like waypoints or something and you can like quick travel. So what I'm thinking is if I do another trader over here, I think I could quick travel. And also I can make a post for myself 
So I think if I make a second trader and then I find the second um, uh, post where the horse is tied up to, I'll be able to make a post at my house and be able to travel from place to place. That's my guess. So we'll have to see how that works out. So this is the horse thing I was telling you about, right? Um, it's not saying what it what it said before, but yeah, trust me, that's what it said. I don't even know. Maybe I showed it on camera. I don't remember. All right. Hmm. Okay. Ask questions. Uh, hand over Stark's parcel. Um, I sure can miss to be addressed to anyone. Yep, got it. Tell him you don't know. Okay. Ask for news on the region. Ask ask about received mail. Uh, what's the name? Tell him your name. One moment. Oh, uh, yes, here it is. A letter in, in your name. It is on the table outside. Okay. I hope you have been well, dear, whatever. I hope you've been well. Times are troubled that our village could uh, use your help. Can you please uh, come and see us as soon as possible? Your friend Cheyenne or Cheyenne, whatever. Okay, cool. Got a quest for that. Now, do I take it or I can't take it? I just have to leave it there. All right, fair enough. All right, so what I would like to do now is I would like to make another trader. And I don't want the trader to be too close to the original trader. I want him to be kind of far away because I think you could fast travel. Um, at least that's that's my idea. So we need one of these. So we're going to need one of these. Yeah, that'll work. We could put this right here. And then put the trader above it, but I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a little bit more scouting progress. You can't just place down traders willy nilly. By the way, um, I can't put down another trader. By the way, there is some cold biomes here, which are pretty interesting. Snow covered forest, pine forest, snow covered forest, which is cool. Um, but here's the moderate climate, no trader, so I can only put down one trader. Now I do have a unique thing for the Kichide village, so I might try and place that down uh, today. But first things first, let's go ahead and return hmm. to Stark. Um, did you bring uh, the parcel to the trading post? Remember, I found eventually if you did or not. Well, anyways, thank you for your help. Outside, I have an old saw blade. I don't need any more. Maybe you can get some use of it. All right, cool. Very nice. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back home. And here's the deal. In order, in order to unlock the village, I need one piece of hide. Here's the problem, though. The watering holes, which is where the deer come from, have not respawned the deer. So I'm going to check again tomorrow, but I don't know. If I don't see them tomorrow, I'm going to assume that those watering holes take either a long time to respawn the animals or they don't respawn the animals at all. I really don't know either way. I unlocked and placed down the village and I do see a horsey there. So I think we're going to be able to do some fast travel. Uh, it's right over here. I purposely put it kind of up here and out of the way since you can do fast travel. And here we are. First thing I'm going to do is come over here. Nay, a saddle horse pet. All right, let's get you saddled up. Nay, shakes head and wants some carrots. Okay. Pet. You're such a good horse. Okay, well. I'm not really sure how that works, but by the way, I've been seeing rabbits with antlers. That's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. That, it, bu it bugs me out a little bit. All right, let's come in here and open some chests. Get some flint. Wait, what is that? Rest uh, needs night or tired. Oh, cool. You can sleep here. Okay. Uh, search. Uh, anything here? Nope, just something I can craft. But I got my own stuff to craft that. I don't need your stuff. Oh, can I take your bow? Can I have your bow, please? That would be wonderful. Flint. All right, let's see if we can make one of these horsey things now. Um, I don't know where it would be under. I'm not seeing it. Um, tannery, no. Furnace, anvil. Yeah, fletching table. Yeah, I, I think I'm supposed to be able to make one of those, but I don't know. Maybe I have to do a quest for it. Welcome to the village. How have you been? Um, tell her you're doing well. Uh, well, that's good to hear, my friend. Well, I'd be pretty harsh looking you know your way around. Um, it's been very rough here lately. Some uh, Something has gotten to the wildlife, make them stir, shake, and become very aggressive. Um, I've even seen some animals with eyes as green and bright as Riverstone. Okay. Uh, ask you can help. 
Let's just cut to the chase here. Yep, okay. Got it. Oh, I gotta go to the snow covered. Okay. Uh, have you been in the snow yet? Not yet. Uh, it gets so cold. Then again, I'm not very accustomed to the cold weather. I don't know how to make some boots, though. Oh, so I already made boots. I know how to uh, properly... Sh uh, some folks at the lake side of the ice lake uh, do know how to... Okay. Uh, teach you how to make those boots. Sure, but I, I already think I know how to make them. So... Okay. Get a new place on the... Okay, so I'm not sure what I have to do with the horse, but... Oh, so he wants carrots. Okay. I'm not sure to get carrots, though. I'll have to look into that. And then I'm thinking I need carrots to do the fast travel. Okay, fair enough. Um, crafted pelt boots. Maybe I didn't have those yet. Uh, crafted... That have to be in the tannery, right? Yeah, there we go. Fatigue, protection, limited protection against cold. Okay. Oh boy, where the hell do I get resin? All right, you know what, guys? We have to call it at some point, even though I want to keep playing. Um, <laughs> I, I got to look into this stuff for sure. And uh, now that we have a proper house, we've done some quests. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. The only thing I'm wondering is about the the um, animals at the watering hole don't seem to be respawning. So that's one thing I would be concerned about. But We'll kind of figure that out as we go. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.